Hello, girls and boys. Today is Palm Sunday, so named because you can see we have long palms and we have little palm crosses. The story of Palm Sunday is all about Jesus. Here is Jesus, and he's riding on a donkey. Early in the morning, Jesus told his friends, go find me a donkey. And they went and they found him a little donkey. And Jesus got up on the donkey and rode down a long hill called the Mount of Olives toward the big city of Jerusalem. The people were very glad to see Jesus. And they came out, we can see here a little boy and a little girl. They brought palms with them and they waved them in the air saying, Hosanna! Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Why do you think they were so glad to see Jesus? Maybe it's because they knew that Jesus loved them. They were glad to see him because Jesus had helped so many people. He had helped the poor, He'd made a blind man see. He had helped people who were sick. He had helped boys and girls and told them, let them come to me, for to them belongs the kingdom of heaven. And today, girls and boys, today we remember that even now Jesus loves you, and Jesus loves me, and Jesus loves everyone. So today on Palm Sunday, go outside maybe if you have a yard and find something, a little blade of grass or a flower, maybe a daffodil if they're still blooming, or maybe even a dandelion, and wave them in the air and say, Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is the one that comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Amen. Church. 
located on King Street in downtown Martinsburg, West Virginia. I am the Reverend Ann Weatherholt, the interim rector, and we are coming to you with a worship service in digital format. For those of you who've already joined us through virtual worship, we hope that you found your lives blessed and your spirits raised. If this is your first viewing, welcome. We are glad you've joined in. The church website, trinitymartinsburg.org, has a link for our YouTube channel where you can view past services and other offerings. We are committed to keeping in contact with you in all ways possible to offer worship, prayer, and support. Be sure to look at the resources which are posted on the website, including a copy of the Book of Common Prayer. Today is Palm Sunday, and in any other year, we would be gathered together in this beautiful and historic church, blessing the palms and participating with the other downtown churches in a procession to remember Jesus' glorious and joyful entry into Jerusalem. This year we will bless palms and palm crosses and will put them aside so that when we are able to worship in person, they will be ready and waiting for you. During this COVID-19 flu crisis, we are in exile and we are directed to stay in our homes and we are in a great time of uncertainty. We cannot gather as we might wish. We are staying put in order to show charity and love for our neighbors, especially those who are vulnerable by pre-existing conditions, those on the front lines, law enforcement, military, first responders, and those in our medical profession. My husband and I serve as chaplains to the Maryland State Police, and we have many friends who are doctors and nurses. So for us, and I'm sure for many of you, this is personal. Here at Trinity, we are observing all the guidelines and protocols for travel, cleaning, and distancing to keep each other safe. Thank you to Cody, Tim, Sweet Pea, Kathy, Phil, Lynn, and Lisa for supporting these online worship services. We hope that you will not skip the holy habits and liturgical celebrations of Holy Week and Easter. We put some resources on the church website for you to use. But before we begin, let me offer one idea for today, especially if you have children or youth in your household. In the Holy Land, palm branches are everywhere, so they were used to wave in celebration. In our area, there are outdoor plants and trees which are in bloom. There's nothing that prevents you from using whatever branch or blossom in your yard to hold a procession in your home or even around your yard. Say, Hosanna, blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest, and then pray for your neighbors, community, and our nation. The governors of our states, as well as the president and his advisors, are doing all they can to keep us safe. Bishop Plusmeyer has reminded us of a prayer from the 1928 Book of Common Prayer that may have been used even earlier during the terrible flu of 1918. So let us begin our worship with this prayer. O oh, most mighty and merciful God, in this time of grievous sickness, we flee unto thee for succor. Deliver us, we beseech thee, from our peril. Give us skill and strength to all those who minister to the sick. Prosper the means made use of for their cure, and grant that perceiving how frail and uncertain our life is, we may apply our hearts unto that heavenly wisdom which leadeth to eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed is the King who comes in the name of the Lord. Peace, Peace in, in heaven, heaven and, and glory in the, in the highest. Christ. Let us pray. Assist us mercifully with your help, O Lord God of our salvation, that we may enter with joy upon the contemplation of those mighty acts whereby you've given us life and immortality through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. 
and a reading from the Holy Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew. When Jesus and his disciples had come near Jerusalem and had reached Bethpage at the Mount of Olives, Jesus sent two disciples, saying to them, Go into the village ahead of you, and immediately you will find a donkey tied and a colt with her. Untie them and bring them to me. If anyone says anything to you, just say this, The Lord needs them, and he will send them immediately. This took place to fulfill what had been spoken through the prophet, saying, Tell the daughter of Zion, Look, your king is coming to you, humble and mounted on a donkey, and on a colt, the foal of a donkey. The disciples went and did as Jesus had directed them. They brought the donkey and the colt and put their cloaks on them, and he sat on them. A very large crowd spread their cloaks on the road, and others cut branches from trees and spread them on the road. The crowds that went ahead of him and that followed were shouting, Hosanna to the son of David! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord! Hosanna in the highest! When Jesus entered Jerusalem, the whole city was in turmoil, asking, Who is this? The crowds were saying, this is the prophet Jesus from Nazareth in Galilee. This is the gospel of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And also so with you. you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, almighty God, for the acts of love by which you have redeemed us through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. On this day he entered the holy city of Jerusalem in triumph and was proclaimed as King of Kings by those who spread their garments and branches of palm along his way. Let these branches and these crosses be for us signs of his victory and grant that we who bear them in his name may ever hail him as our King and follow him in the way that leads to eternal life, who is living and reigning in glory with you in the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Peace in heaven and glory in the highest. Let us go forth in peace. In the name of Christ. Amen.